Welcome to Cooking 100 Year Old Recipes. In this video, I am diving into the chapter called Helpful Tips for the Young Housemaker. This chapter covers how to clean certain stains, some of them might surprise you, and also how to clean the home. And the Victorian era was, I don't know if I'd say very different, but it was different from how we live in these modern times. So some of what I have unearthed in this video might surprise you. Now this is an extensive chapter, so I do need to break it down into multiple videos, but the few that I'll be covering in this episode are right here. Washing machines had been invented after the Civil War, so they were available at this time, but housewives did not like them. They found the machines rip and tore the clothing as well as left rust stains, which were another problem entirely. Half fill with hot soap suds, to which is added one teaspoon washing soda. Put in newspaper torn into small pieces. Let stand one half hour, occasionally shaking. Empty, rinse with hot water, drain, wipe outside, and let stand to dry inside. On the subject of washing soda, I happen to use it in my own home. I combine it with salt, borax powder, and citric acid to make dishwasher detergent. This is a very economical option compared to what you buy commercially. One tablespoon of this will clean your dishes in the dishwasher beautifully. Now spending about $20 on all of this, the citric acid I happen to have on hand because I make cheese, but you can use lemonade packets without sugar in the grocery store. Now that combine costs about four cents per load, which would equal eight loads of one packet of the, is it the Cascade dish packs? And that adds up over time. I do use some orange essential oil just because I have it on hand, but it's not necessary. I spend about $20 for all of these ingredients and it will make 480 loads. Save where you can. Groceries are expensive right now. I'll link the items below. Pour boiling water over stained surface, having it fall from a distance of three feet. This is a much better way than dipping stain in and out of hot water or wring articles out of cold water and hang out of doors on a frosty night. So what is Coparis anyway? It is green vitriol and it is indeed as dangerous as it sounds. It certainly would have cleared a sink drain. Not this chamois. This one.
All right, so let's talk about rust. Rust absolutely would have been an issue, and it may not come to your mind right away when you think about our modern times and how we live, as far as rust being in our home and out in the world. But during the Victorian times, iron was all over the home. It wasn't just the cooker in the kitchen or the iron, not to iron your clothes, that was literally a piece of iron, but there would have been iron housewares and furniture, things like, door hinges and door knobs, um, floor lamps, table lamps, the bottoms of tables would have been ornate iron structures holding whatever type of top, a wooden or a glass top. Of course some of the furniture was wood, but uh, iron furniture was quite prevalent. Now, how would it rust to get on people's clothing? Well, we have to think of the fashions of the time. The women wore skirts and dresses down to the floor. They were floor length garments and also men's trousers. All brush against furniture. But how did the rust get there in the first place? Well, it's just simple day-to-day -day living things that we do have now. We have dogs in our homes. Dogs get wet, they come in, they shake it off and it ricochets. From the, there's no wall-to-wall -wall carpet in the Victorian era it's going to bounce off the floor and onto the furniture and because iron is not reflective you wouldn't necessarily have seen it and rust will occur on iron right before your eyes almost you know it's a matter of hours it rusts very quickly um, moisture from maybe dropping a glass people have always dropped things and the liquid would ricochet and splash up as high as a kneecap maybe higher onto a doorknob a door hinge and certainly the feet of a floor lamp or a table you sit down to have your tea or your meal or to read or do your craft you know embroidery whatever it is read a paper cross your leg cross your ankles and the garment will brush against the rust. So this would have been a very real laundry situation on a regular basis. Lastly, we look at how to remove grass stains, and again, this would have been an issue because of the fashions. The long dresses would scrape against the grass blades, causing staining on the hemlines. Additionally, during this time, lawn tennis had become popular, and as a result, women had cotton dresses made to play the sport. Not only would they get grass stains along the hem, but when you play sports, occasionally a lady would take a tumble into the grass, causing stains on her beautiful cotton dress. I will be back with another video covering some more cleaning tips around the house in the American Victorian era. If you stayed this long, please click the like button. It helps the channel. And I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.